Out of grief can come something very, very special. That is the case with one holiday toy drive organized by a Denver mom after the loss of her daughter. This year, Nine News is partnering with Dolls for Daughters and Toys for Boys. Jessica Backus joins us with more on how to donate this holiday season. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Please give us the background. What motivated you to start this? Um, as you mentioned, I lost um, a child um, almost 10 years ago. I was six months pregnant with my daughter, Kinsey and she was stillborn. Um, and as a way to get through the holidays and do something good, uh, we collected dolls for girls in our community because we couldn't give them to Kinsey and our older daughter, Bailey. And that was um, in 2007. And it really grew from this idea of how rewarding it was to give to others. And mm -hmm. after two years of doing it, we became a nonprofit. In Kinsey's name. Yes. That's so wonderful. So talk about what's new this year and where can we donate dolls and toys? So one of the biggest things is our partnership with Nine News and doing a toy drive with Nine News. So we're doing a really big um, toy drive where people can drop off toys the Saturday after Thanksgiving which it, we're encouraging people to shop around Black Friday okay. and then donate toys to us um, that Saturday, or we have drop-off locations listed on our website. Okay, and can families, how can they take part if they're in need? So if families are in need, we have three toy shops operating this year. We have Denver, Fort Collins, and Longmont. It's a first come, first serve basis. We do require that they provide a birth certificate from anywhere in the world for each of their children and then a picture ID. Okay, that's all they need to know to attend. Yep. It's easy enough. And you've made this so much more than just a giveaway. Talk about what families are going to receive. So, you know, after doing it for several years and seeing the needs that our families had, we decided to provide some additional resources. So in addition to the toys that every child will get, um, the first 5,000 kids in Denver will get a new toy, a stocking, a stocking stuffer, a book, a toothbrush and toothpaste kit, and a Lego wow. set. Wow. You know, I just admire you so much because oh, you, you went through something so traumatic and it would be easy to fall into depression, but instead oh, yes. you've changed the lives of so many others. You've also started something called Kinsey Kids. Yes, so our Kinsey's Kids program is um, a program where we work directly with families for an entire year. We have six families currently in the program and we provide financial assistance to them and resources to let them um, provide extracurricular activities for their children, make sure they have Halloween costumes, mm -hmm. winter coats, jackets, boots, um, experiences that they typically would not have. You're like an angel. You really are. Yeah, and you have you. three other kids at home? I do. I have three living children. Um, Bailey is 12, Camden is 8, and Carson is 7. I admire you the way you said that, three living children, because yes. Kinsey, even though she passed, she's your child. Absolutely. Do they understand why you're doing this, and are they involved too? Absolutely. The children um, have been involved, you know, since the very beginning. Bailey, obviously, was alive when um, her sister passed away, so she's been going to all of the events with us since we started, and um, they uh, volunteer at the toy shop, and they actually collect toys in their schools. They'll be there on the Saturday after Thanksgiving with us, and then we um, recently started a youth advisory board for middle school and high school students, so my daughter is participating with that. If someone asked you, why is this so important, what would you tell them? Because there are more than 200,000 children in Colorado that live in poverty. And mm -hmm. Christmas is the time, one of the times of the year that it's very expensive for families to give to their children. They're deciding, do they pay their electric bill or do mm -hmm. they buy Christmas presents? And our program provides the opportunity for families with children, you know, infants to 18, to have Christmas, new gifts, and bring joy during the holidays. That's so wonderful. So obviously we want to help out. Yes. How can we help out? What kind of toys do you need? So we really need any toys for birth to 18, but what we have found that some of our hardest areas to serve are those teenagers. So um, we have some toys on the table. Um, Nerf guns are super popular. Kids of all ages actually love yeah. Nerf guns, boys and girls. And not just kids. I yeah, <laughs> we have a Nerf war every uh -huh. now and then at the we house. Do too. <laughs> and then um, footballs, basketballs, soccer balls are super important. Kids love outdoor equipment, and we really love that piece as well to encourage kids to be active and healthy in Colorado. Mm -hmm. And then um, makeup kits, um, nail kits, things like that for older teen girls is great. And then you know some Power Rangers are always yeah. great. Do drop it off and make a difference in a child's life. You can call 720-330-2804 for more information. Finally, my goodness. You you have done so much. You've also published a few books about Kinsey. 
Yes, we have. So um, my background was I was a high school English teacher for Denver Public Schools, and I really wanted to bring a literacy piece into our program. And the best way to do it and the most economical for us as a small nonprofit to, was to write and publish our own books. So we have been doing that each year, and each one of the books has um, kind of a special story about how you can get, give back to others. Um, you know, what the very first year Kinsey gave away a doll because a girl didn't have a doll. And then our daughter is the highlighted person in each story. Mm -hmm. And um, if Kinsey were alive, she'd be missing her lower left arm. So Aww. she's featured in that book with a limb difference. And I really love that we've done that because it shows kids um, and people that, you know, our differences on the outside don't define who we are. We That's all true. have a great heart and we're all equal. You are proof. You are proof. Yes. Look what you've done. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Gosh, that's too amazing. Nine News has partnered with Dolls for Daughters Toy Drive on Saturday, November 26, from 7 to 11 a.m. at the Stanley British Primary School parking lot. Please pick up an extra toy while you're out shopping on Black Friday and make a difference in a child's life. The Dolls for Daughters and Toys for Boys Toy Shop is expensive expanding to Fort Collins and Longmont this year. The toy shop will be held Saturday, December 3rd. For a list of locations and information on what you need to bring to participate, please visit dollsfordaughters.com or call 720-330-2804.